get up. I gotta get going. I'm gonna stream some video games or anything else that's allowed on my streaming platform of choice with the use of Restream.io. Welcome, Golfballs here coming at you with a tutorial video to show you a website that's been a great asset to my live streams. Restream.io. Now, before we start, let me tell you that I've been using this website since around September 10th, 2016 and logged about 1,650 hours. That's roughly 69 days, okay? If this service wasn't good, I wouldn't be sitting at a memeable number. And 2016, man, what? What a year, what a year. what I even do? Oh man, 2016, that's like, huh? 20 years ago. Please clap. Restream offers streaming simultaneously to multiple platforms, the ability to change titles and category or game, send a tweet and or post to Facebook, monitor the stream's performance, view the analytics of the stream, the ability to embed chat into the stream, a way to upload and schedule pre-recorded videos, email reports with quick details, and 24 seven chat support. All for free. They also have monthly and yearly pay models for individuals and companies. Of course, it comes with extra features like custom RTMP channels, which includes Facebook, and streaming to the same platform twice, which is doubling. Scheduler also has a payment option in case you want to be a power user of pre-recorded content. There's transcoding, another option for you to purchase if you want automatic optimization of your streams. Keep in mind by the time of this video that there might be a lot new features and updates, so you're gonna to wanna to check that out. Now, I use Restream as a way of broadcasting to both Twitch and YouTube, with the YouTube one being a private stream that is only a means of backing up the content created on Twitch. No need to waste your internet bandwidth, computer resources, and time with having to record and stream at the same time, or having to stream to a platform download the video on demand, and then uploading that somewhere, or even worse, keeping that on your storage device, it's gonna add up so quickly. I love the titles page though. It saves me so much time. First, if you have any problems, they have a help center and 24 seven chat support via their website or Discord server. If you come across any problems or feedback, I won't be able to help you much, AKA I'm not your tech support. Okay, so you only really need two things, a broadcasting program and your Restream dashboard open. In this instance, I'm gonna be using OBS Studio, open broadcaster software. For other software like XSplit, Streamlabs, OBS, etc., it's more or less the same. You can check the streaming setup in your Restream dashboard for visual reference, which is very convenient. All right, so in OBS, you go to File, Settings, Stream. Stream type should be set to streaming services. Set service to restream.io. Change the server to whatever is closest to you. Uh, in my case, it's Dallas. And add the stream key you obtain on the dashboard of Restream under stream key. If you're interested in any of this, links are gonna be down in the description. A referral and non-referral link will be there as well, just in case you wanna throw a dog a bone. And if you're still here, I'm sure you're gonna wanna check out Restream or you like me, I'm fine with either really. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos and dislike, but know that I still love you.